Hey everyone, this is Mega Fawcett, and welcome back to Control. Um, we're just gonna hop right back into it. Uh, I hadn't played since we left off, but when I recorded just now, it skipped a couple minutes for some reason. But all that we missed was getting one of these um, pieces of paper about shifted bathroom complaint. Um, other than that, nothing skipped. So I'm making sure that it's recording right now, and it seems like we're good. So we're just gonna hop right back in. Um, the only thing I said when we, when, uh, the recording skipped was that the only thing I'm still con, one of the things I'm still confused about in this game right now is that second voice that Jesse has, it, it's the same voice actress. So I can't tell if that's her inner thoughts, her inner monologue, if it's, uh, like the way this game plays out, if it's her from a separate dimensional plane or something, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be paying attention to the inflection of the voice, if that's the tip-off to when Jesse's talking and when the other entity is talking. But all the same, this is the only thing that we missed, so listen. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in Islamabad station, in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace here. <laughs> if you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. That's funny. I appreciate um, humor in uh, games where it's uh, things get a little serious. I, jeez, forget that. That's what. That's how she opens boxes. Okay, three was what we got. I do not have the clearance level. House memory. Conceptual material is what we got. Interesting. There's some other things in here that um, I hadn't looked at before. Urban legends are believed to be the creation of altered materials. I did read that one before. I didn't read this one. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. I think that was on the poster outside, actually. The only person you should fail is yourself. So Trench was the previous director before us. Service weapon, which is the little revolver we got. And then these all, um, I did read. Oh, I didn't look Objects at this. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fucked. Get it. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Hmm. Interesting. So did so they know that that like it's accepted that that's just what happens? Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. <laughs> 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. I think I Thank did hear that one attention. last time, actually. That sounds familiar. Interesting. Um... That one about the service weapon was live action, wasn't it? Either that or really, really well rendered see, um, uh, animation. Bureau expenditures. Staffing, surveillance, redacted, data center initiative, construction, and two redacteds. So that's unclassified under my major, major, minor is office equipment, janitorial costs, mold removal, and headquarters livability costs. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I do really enjoy the collectibles in this. Oh, here's another one of those, just like. 
Shatter projectile choke. Oh, it's a mod. What do I have right now? Um, health recovery boost and energy boost. Can I equip both of these? I think I only have... Oops. I think I only have one slot at a time. Yeah, I only have one of them uh, a slot at a time. Energy. I don't understand what energy is, really. Is that just your total health? No, because then it'd say health. Um, I'll, health recovery per element pickup. I'll get that because um, that seems like a pretty good one. Grip. Damage against armor. Shatter. So this one is one that we haven't unlocked yet because we have to get shatter first. So I didn't realize that I had this weapon damage to armor. We'll throw that in there as well. All right. I really do like the design of this thing. Can I look at it? No. Um, it looks really cool. It's like a futuristic revolver. And if you know me, you know how much I love revolvers. All right. Moving on. Ooh, stuff. Things. That's a radio. Just turn it on or turn it off. I wonder if stuff like that, seemingly un inconsequential things, like turning on a radio, this seems like the game, like the kind of game where that would actually have um, an impact. Technological restrictions. The reading is a little bit um, uh, tedious at times, but I still really enjoy it. The oldest house imposes oh, a, a examination of paranormal topics, technological limitations of the oldest house. Summary: The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that re receive or emit any signal. Radio waves were the only transmittable sig transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those were often unreliable. If the power of collective conscious of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural for the oldest house to interact with them, use them. Similarly, these items could not have been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast of a pace for the something to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Interesting. So, the things that this place interacts with, seemingly from a different dimension or um, different reality, uh, don't interact well with our current technology because our current technology is not, um, is not kept up. Who is that? Um, it's hard to tell what is going to advance the story. I think it's that um, the door down there um, that has all of the... Um, I think it, there was a door down here that I think... Uh, yeah, that one right there. So that one would seem to progress the story. So I think we're safe looking at everything else first. These punch cards? These are all punch cards. Oh, weird. It me. I wonder if that was Trench before and they change, they like actively change. I don't have the security clearance for that. Whoa. Um, that definitely advances the story. I've never seen that before. Oh, that looks like the room from the trailer, actually. So let me sprint back upstairs real quick. This game plays pretty smoothly um, as well, just moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Uh, I value frame rate and smoothness of moment-to-moment -moment gameplay far beyond um, graphical capacity. Burp. Lift it up. Undefined reading materials. What are these materials? Because I picked up one of these materials um, during the fight that I didn't realize. Um, undefined. Oh, cause I, so I have four of those, one of those, three of those. I get it. Okay. I thought that was the le the number was the level. Um, so that's all there is in here. 
to refresh my memory because it had been so long since I played, I just literally watched my previous video, um, and I picked up one of those. Oh, oh. It popped me into, uh, into, um, power mode. Is he gone? He's gone! What? Was he gone before we left? I love that. That's such a, it's, it's such just a, it's objectively cool. There's some things that, like, I, I appreciate in games, not because they make sense, not because they, like, like it's just because they're cool, and that, I really like that. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Like a giant, like, emitter or receiver or something? I really like the environment design of this as well. Uh, just another mem um, another. That wasn't a mod, was it? No. Why did it bring up this screen? Past memory. Okay. Yeah. So the, those are just um, materials that we build up. Released articles. Sebastian, Jenna. I can't uh, pronounce some of these. Um, also, I realize that I talk a little bit quiet sometimes. I need to sp start speaking into the mic. I need to um, speak with a normal voice. Um, so that is something that I realize I need to improve on, and I will work on that because it makes a better video for all of you. Oh, environment design is so is so good in this game. It really does a good job of painting, um, setting a tone and a feel and um, a setting. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that. Bump. It's so hard to discern what they're saying. I can't tell if it's supposed to be important, if I'm supposed to, like, be listening to what they're saying. Okay, this was just that other room. Okay. So I think we're good to go... This one's locked. Yeah, okay. Parkour. Did I break the ground when I fell? I think we are good to uh, continue on. So do we go through this force field door first, or? There it is again, our welcome message. Yeah, this progresses the plot. Central executive, okay, so we're right here. Boardroom. What was that other place that opened up into... Where do I close this? There we go. Hang on. Where was that other place that opened up into... Uh, it looked like that place from the trailer with like a box in it. A holding cell. Yeah, this. Doesn't say that that's anything. I don't know if I'm supposed to explore this yet. So, it's seemingly mundane objects that create um, these altered world events. So that must be one of them, and they're keeping track of it to make sure that it's not... This is very much like um, uh, the SCP Foundation. This is just SCP the game. I mean, not, but... That's really cool because I I love re reading those stories and everything. It, it's such a it's such a cool idea. Ooh, a thing. Got another material. Oh jeez. Okay, wait, there's something else um, back here. I don't think I can get into this because it's red, and that means that I can't get into it. Okay. Oh, dude, you got wrecked. Oh, 
Are these friendlies or... These are not friendlies. Boom. That's so cool. Ooh. I really like that. The abilities in this game are so cool. I just hit X trying to reload. Give me it. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, In and Out. In and Out, that's funny. Aztec Court, is that real? I don't I, I don't know. Sleepy Bear, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Accommodations, meals, gasoline, mini bar. Oh, it's just a report of them um where they where they went. <laughs> I do wonder if a motel called Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent, Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines, the boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Fair enough. I agree. Um... Is, a, is that a stapler or an altered item? Item. Don't take office equipment outside the building. That's a good warning. It's kind of the same thing. Delays caused by how shifts do not count towards overtime. <laughs> Avoid modern technology. What is that? Good grief. That looks so cool, though. That looks so cool. Hang on. This um, I'm, this might be a thumbnail worthy, so I'm gonna just boop, my webcam out of there, and then boop, hit back, so. That, as, again, it's just the design of this game. The art, the art style is so cool. Okay, we need to explore down here first. I don't know why I didn't just top the wall. Oh, hello. Ah, ah. Hey, stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just ran to a wall. <laughs> Did the voices get like angrier? What happened? No, nope, okay. Um, another thing about this game that I really do appreciate is the hitboxes on the um, on the enemies? They really seem to react to like where you hit them, and I think that's really cool. It's not something that um, like if they're walking one direction. Good grief! If you're if they're walking one direction and you hit them in the shoulder, it'll make them like jerk their body like that, and then they'll stumble, or you hit them in their leg, and then they'll trip up. Um, I find that really cool. I know it's it's stuff that we take for granted in game design these days, but I still think it's awesome. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know which way is forward. Okay. Dead letters. Um, this one opened up something different. I'm gonna go back up top to the other one real quick. Is this a dead end or does this lead somewhere else? Oh, jeez! It's overpowering here. 
You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hang on one sec. Alright, sorry about that. Where were we going next? Ooh, there's more doors to open over here. Oh, it's just a restroom. Unstable area notice. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area stability has been degraded to yellow. Green is stable possibility of low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, high likelihood or frequent. Oh, didn't mean to zoom. So this area is is yellow. Oh, there's a shelter down there too. This game hides its linearity very well. Um, I, I really like that. It is not an open world game, obviously. Um, but it hides the linearity well because these, the, all of these arenas and everything are laid out very well. Havana Summary. An auditory event occurred in the United States Embassy of Havana in Injuring, I was thought that instituting for some reason. Injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. A certain number of deaths were reported, and the outgoing information has been managed. Bureau of events. What What do you do when something, when like if an AWE happens? What do you do? How do you, how do you men in black, like mind white people? Like the like. Fascinating SCP stuff that I already like uh, thinking about. <laughs> Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which was reported to have been... Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in their ears. This lasted for a couple minutes, or a certain number of minutes, maybe 800 minutes. No visual phenomena were witnessed. The scene was, cord was cordoned off, and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula 19I9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. My mouse just moved for some reason. Um, the, the item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. Interesting. So another I instance. Ooh, there was something else um, to read there. Research and records. Hiss barrier. The hiss resonance field. So that must be the red thing that we um, that was upstairs. The hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel, or to restrict the game, <laughs> the, or to restrict the gameplay. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Destroy the his entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected -con sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fail. Does the inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when, consider, when considering the hiss? What about the very act of building walls to prevent our movement to tell us? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Interesting. So the hiss might be basically sentient. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Can I just rush past it? There's something in here. Ah, I'm gonna die on the way out though. Oh, I made it! <laughs> that was a bad idea. Because that doesn't recover, does it? That doesn't regenerate. Oh, geez, the framing just, just took a plunge. Okay, so it did regenerate a little bit. So that that's kind of nice that you, um, if you get smacked down really low from something stupid like that, that you would just get one shot in the next engagement. But, um... Okay. Progress was this way. Is 
So now we're in dead letters. Is this bright enough for you guys? Yeah, it looks right. I love the atmosphere that this game creates. It's so creepy. I was hoping that it would just explode the monitor. I can't believe I missed a, a monitor. Hello! Oh, jeez. Recharge. Oh, I need that, um, health. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at shooters. Nice. The, uh, the combat is very interesting. I like it. It plays very well. It's very fun. Oh, Jesus. Very dark in here. Um, that was another... Correspondence, dead letters. Dead letter approval from Trench. Or to Trench, actually. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the dead letters archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail, delinquent mail, will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any um, connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows more into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize that not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into the unknown, how the unknown is perceived by real people. Interesting. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Interesting. So that is this area mission that's this section this chapter it's all about so are all of these dead letters so cool. This is going to be a control point. Yep, because I could see a door behind um, behind this stuff. There's another one right here. I'm going to explore this before we cleanse the control point. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. <laughs> and once, we even launched a cup. Woo! A cup! Um, so is the idea that it could be either things that are seemingly inconsequential, or could also be things that have uh, actual weight to them, things that are historically or like significant at the time or significant to human history. Give me that health. Okay, let's cleanse this control point. Let's smack our hand on that ground. Get this thing back. That's very satisfying. 
visually satisfying too. Navigate through the communications depth. Okay, what else got revealed um, after that? What else has... I'm full on health. I'm already at full health. I don't know why I tried that one. I know that the red ones are um, not able to be... to get got. Went through there. Went through there, didn't I? I did not. Or maybe I just missed this one. Book Club. Penny. Hello, avid, hello, avid readers. The Bureau Book Bunch... Well, Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation stars before the meeting. Happy reading. Penny Bartwell. Penny Bartwell. Yay, I love doing that. <laughs> start using that. that Fart person. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, she can do it one handed. That's awesome. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Dolls creep me out anyway. <laughs> I, I walked around in here, didn't I? And I didn't find these? Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. Politicians usually do. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that! I had great dead men telling me about past and present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest. James Bartholomew, you are a legend. <laughs> that one was fun. Okay. Um, I think we just go back up here. Oh, I can't get in there. What was the objective? Just navigate through the communications, communications. depot? Okay. We're on the right one. track. My goodness. Ooh, another thing. I'm still like, ah! Oh, dolls just creep me out, especially when they're, when, ah! <laughs> the creepy factor was done so well, too. Like, it really hit on a couple different, like, like, creepy factors, like the weird movements and the fa- Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It wasn't in Crap. I kind of missed that. I, I saw, like, the tail end of it. 
Is this another one of those places that's gonna kill me? Book Club Samson. So I don't re usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but the thought, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. <laughs> the way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fis fixers, fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and gun space hippies, or badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms, and that, um, and that space dog fight between those two ace pilots, sign me the flip flop up. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is two out of five? Is this two out of five because of the second uh, book club thing? What, ki what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched to his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Well, join the club. Welcome to modern films. Er, books. Modern narrative. Nothing really has to make sense as long as it makes money. I wish I would have. Wish I would have seen your death in more. D Object of power. Looks like the hiss has latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The fire is shooting at us. Ow. I think I have to go up there. Oh my gosh, that was stupid. Don't kill me, bruh. Don't kill me, bruh. Let me get this, uh, let me get this thing first. Where do I go? Oh, I just jumped right into that. There was a, um, a button over there or something. So it fires three at a time. I can't get into that door. I can't take one another hit. <laughs> okay, the catwalk. Oh, that's why I crouch. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Throws three at a time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's right there. <coughs> oh, it's the disc. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Hold right button to grab highlighted objects and release them to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's pretty awesome. Come here. One of you. Come here. Come here. Come here. I have something to show you. Come here. Come here. It's right there. Oh, is that all I have to do to that? Oh, I'm stupid. Throw that into it. So, with that time, it was actually, it was, uh, pretty easy to discern that it was, why did I just say discern? 
that it was um, it, the vocal inflection was what tipped you off to who was talking, which Jesse was talking. Oh, you guys are gonna get it. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. Give me health. Oh, hold. Okay. Wasting too much time trying to be cool about this. But it's so cool. Oh, there's one more. That is so cool. <laughs> the sound designer on that too. <laughs> that is awesome. Ah, oh, I love that. That sound, that sound effect is so cool. Paranatural powerhouse. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Abilities such as launch are particularly effective against shields. That's so awesome. Ah, get his knees. This is a cool arena though. Oh, hello. Want some cardboard box? I know where he's gonna be. He's gonna pop up up there. Ooh, what if I kinda throw these? I can throw these. Action scenes in this are so cool. They've got such a cool feel to them. <laughs> That's so fun. I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to grab one of these. I wanted to grab one of these. I guess I can't. Never mind. Just throwing crap around is so fun. One of these is gonna hit me in the skull. I also like that everything is interactable, that like things actually, um, ooh, this one's flammable. <laughs> okay, so the white bar up there, that one. So I can throw two at a time before it has to recharge. Uh, I made a mistake. The whole place is gonna burn down. It's all my fault. Ah, uh, that's not going to get old. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, there's more stuff down here. Launch efficiency. Um, oh, I have a bunch of stuff things. Launch energy cost. Energy. Energy must be what powers the surface weapon as well. I'm not having a big problem with that right now, so I'm just going to stick with um, health. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll stop doing that so gratuitously. It's just so much fun, and I really love the uh, sound design of it. 
Hiss Ranger. Oh, that was a new class. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. And this is the mailroom. Is there anything I missed in that bat? Um, this one right here. No, there's just that right there. Ooh, the fire extinguisher. It just that it's just so cool the way that the, the there's like a subtle there's a subtle um, rumble in the controller as well, and the Xbox One controller isn't particularly like special about um, its haptic feedback, but it, it does feel cool. That sounds awful. Through a mirror inverted something. It was coming out of the speakers. Uh, out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay. Where are we going? We're just proceeding through the mail. Um, the mail room area. Oh, is this that same? I missed this. Tomasi? 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 Reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined, go, ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public so much less likely to... So another AWE is behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can, this doesn't mean we can stop monitoring and for any off message opinions but is but it's looking like we're in the clear tomasi out tomasi tomasi that's cool you can interact with that and it actually does something ooh Am I supposed to be back here? Okay, it just all leads into the same kind of atrium. This mail room is a oh, oh boy. Mail room right there looks like that where that's where um, things are gonna. Ooh, um, a control point cleanse. This cleanse must open one. the door. Oh, I wonder if I couldn't open it otherwise. Oh yeah, cleanse level one. Okay, cool. Um, check the bath. Lights are off, it's scary in here. I can't see a thing as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, okay. Anything of significance? Not really, okay. Oh, another shelter. Ooh, the texture on this is going a little crazy. Ooh, her, the texture on her jacket's going to look crazy, too. Oh, that's another, um... Radio. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Okay. 
Oh, they're clearance level. Whoa! Hey, I'm getting things. Okay, I'm getting a little far from uh, where I'm supposed to be, I think, so. Let's hop back down and enter the mail room. Awfully pretty. Hello. They can fly now. Oh, it, this is Tomasi. Oh, good dodge, you dork. My face, my face, my face, my face. Where'd you go? Frick! Oh. I need health. Ah. Crap. Jeez. I wonder, you, am I just supposed to keep my distance? That looked weird. Am I just supposed to keep my distance and just hammer with the, um, with the pistol? It just dodges the, uh... Um, all the flamball stuff I was trying to lob at him. I'm all the way back here. Okay. Um, this is good a time as any then. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut right here. Um, why am I all the way back here? Uh, alright. Well, so that was episode two. Of, I, I'm having such a good time with this one, uh, with this game. It's so much fun. Everything is just so... Things are just objectively cool. Um, I love that throw power. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so that does it for me this time. Um, if you liked the video, please uh, hit the like button because while it does not do anything algorithmically for me, it does help me know that I'm doing the right thing and you're liking what you see. So please consider subscribing as well because that also lets me know that you're liking what my content and that I'm doing the right thing. So other otherwise, um, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see all of you next time.